Hey, all you wonderful piano people. Hi. It's time for Monday lunch break with Sean and Shauna of webpianoteacher.com. How are you guys doing? How we are live. So if you have any questions or comments, anything at all, you can post that right now. We're here live and we can answer them for you. Yeah, questions about us or questions about our family or the website or piano, whatever. All and tell us where you're from. Oh, That's yeah. always fun when we find out somebody's close or somebody's super far away. <laughs> I <Well>. like it. <laughs> <laughs> that is neat. All right. So, rocking and rolling here. How many have we got so far now? <laughs> Just a couple. A couple. All right. <laughs> Somebody. Yes. <laughs> Good. Well, we've been, we've been recording all weekend our new master class series. It's the first one I've ever done. It's called I've Got Rhythm. And it's a master class series on actually putting rhythm to your chords. If you've ever had trouble like vamping or if you see my lessons and I go, I'll put a squiggly line, I go, you see the vamp here? And you go, well, hold on, Sean, how do I do that? <laughs> now I'm finally going to show you how to do that, how to vamp, how to put rhythm in your chords. Also, if you feel like you can't get your left and right hand coordinated together, you know, and some people will, will even say, I don't have left hand or right hand independence. Well, that's actually your problem is the independence. You need cooperation. You need the hands to work together. So this master class series is something I've designed to help you get your hands cooperating, working together, because really when you, when you play rhythms, you don't feel them with one hand and the other. You feel them together at one time. All right, so I have some great songs we're gonna work on doing that. It's not just these boring exercises, but I chose some awesome songs that everyone has heard. Just a couple of chords. It's not hard to get from one chord to the next. You don't have to worry about going all over the keyboard. You're gonna stay pretty much in one place and you're gonna work on rhythm. It's exciting. We, we're not done with it yet. We still got a lot more to do, but I'll let you know when we get that out. Well, who do we have? for this weekend to do that. <clears throat> well, the fun thing about it, so master class in a traditional setting is somebody comes down and the, there's a lesson being taught by the professor with the student and then there's just a bunch of people watching the lesson. So we tried to recreate that here in the studio. So we had friends and family, uh -huh. <laughs> different people uh, who we texted and said, hey, do you mind helping us out? And they showed up and it's, it's different people at different levels, so you'll get to see in real time a beginner, and I mean beginner, beginner. Right. Um, watch the process of her learning, because I always think it's kind of funny. Sean can literally do anything he wants. <laughs> On the piano. Uh, no, <laughs> it's with any instrument. He's like, I'm like, people are like, can you play that? And he's like, no, but I don't know, give me 10 minutes and I'll become an expert. <laughs> so watching him teach a lesson, he can just do it. And I don't know about you people, but it's super frustrating to me <laughs> that he can just sit down and do something. So we thought it would be kind of neat for you to see somebody else's experience and that maybe you can relate to them because these are people with full-time jobs, lots of things on their plate, and they're, you know, getting to watch, you'll get to watch their experience uh, learning how to play something on piano. So it's kind of cool to have different people at different levels come into the studio. Yeah, they just came in and played. One of them's my cousin, another one of them's just our mutual friends <laughs> that we have. And what's neat about it is you get that live interaction because I, I get to actually see something that I can help them with right then and there. And we all have the same problems with music. It isn't like this person has only this problem, this person has only this problem. We all experience the same frustrations in learning our instrument. And it's neat to, to address that right on the spot. And I can do that much better with a live student. Never done this before. So uh, the Masterclass series that's coming is awesome. It's called I've Got Rhythm. And if you don't feel like you have it, you will have rhythm after you do it. Well, that's what we did on Saturday. What did you do on Friday? Because <laughs> Sean's very excited about this clip that he'd like to show you. Yes, yes. On Friday, <laughs> I go and watch my boy play football. And I love this, I, I li I, I'll just be honest, I live vicariously through my kids <laughs> because I am as slow as Christmas. <clears throat> I worked and worked on my 40 time in high school. Five, five, it's as fast as I ever got. <laughs> but I can work hard. I was out there working after school, everybody's gone, the coach comes out and says, Sean, I appreciate your work, e your work ethic, but it ain't gonna happen, son. <laughs> so let's, let's practice on basketball or something. <laughs> so I don't have any speed. Shauna is fast as lightning and her whole family. So, Once upon a time. Yeah, so it's neat that I'm related to somebody that's fast. Somebody that came from me is fast. <laughs> and so I'm gonna show you a clip of Carter. I'll, I'll set okay. it up. He is a defensive back 
And the running back goes to this this kid is so fast, and nobody can catch him except my boy, number eight. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> Oh, Hit it again. We'll get him up. Yeah. Hit it again. Right there. Yep. There he is. Go. <laughs> get him, Cor. Get him. <laughs> get him. That's what I was yelling. And yes. Got him. <laughs> Save the touchdown. Now they scored right after them on the next play, but <laughs> he is fast. My other son is fast too, so it's really neat. Yeah. How many times have you watched that clip? Probably about a hundred. <laughs> And our son doesn't know that that video was just shown, so yeah, we'll probably hear about that later. <laughs> right. So our next clip that we have is our featured student featured of the week. Featured student. This is always my favorite part. <laughs> like when somebody sends us a video, I'm so excited. <laughs> <clears throat> this guy, I'm, I'm always amazed how good everyone is. But you know what? You don't have to be awesome to send a video. I would love to get some videos from beginners who are just barely starting to play chords. Guys, send us your videos. We love it. We want to feature you. Quit focusing on how bad you think you are, how many mistakes you're making, and send it in. Let's look at the good stuff. Uh, this guy's name is Hardy, Hardy. from Georgia. A old buddy of his that he's been friends with, with school uh, from school. He's a childhood friend. Yeah. And Hardy lives in Georgia. His friend lives in Colorado. His buddy played All I Wanted, or uh, what's the Leonard Skinner song? Write a song. Or I'll write All I Can Do Is Write About yes. It or something. Yes. <laughs> but he sent him that clip of him playing the guitar and singing. And Hardy plays the clip of his friend that he pre-recorded, and he plays along with the guy on the piano. Amazing stuff. Let's, Learn, let's play, watch share, it. baby. Yeah. All over. <clears throat> All right. Well. notice and I didn't notice this uh, till after Shauna brought it to my attention but now you work out don't you Hardy <laughs> <laughs> now I heard something about bulging biceps oh yeah well and, and, uh, dancing pecs or something I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah okay way to go into working out <laughs> make me have to step it up <laughs> but uh, what I first noticed about uh, what Hardy sent us is he said don't mind all the mistakes I was like what what mistakes I was just listening to it. I didn't hear any mistakes in there. Uh, maybe you think you have some in there, but I loved it, Hardy. That's awesome. Uh, it's one thing to be able to get through it by yourself. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to be able to play with another person sitting next to you where you got to stay together with a guy. Yeah, where, where you can make eye contact. And... Yeah, you can get back on. Yeah. But it's expert level if you can listen to a recording of someone and stay with that person where their tempo is going to fluctuate a little bit and you're listening so intently you can stay right with them on the beat i didn't i didn't hear one beat slip at all you were right on it the whole time so that was amazing that he was able to do that yeah we don't uh we're always our worst critics of course <laughs> you know but when people are listening to music you're just enjoying it i don't think we're no. ever listening for the mistakes no you're listening and you just the music is flowing, he's playing, he's enjoying it. That's what you want. I think we tend to be glass half empty type of people, when it, especially when it comes to ourselves. <laughs> Guys, you've got to start looking at the positive. I know that sounds corny, but it will do wonders for your confidence <laughs> in your playing if you'll just forget about all those negative things you could say about yourself and concentrate on all the good things. Listen to that. If this guy's going to criticize himself, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is really awesome. Yeah, it is. So send us your videos. Tell, yes. tell them how to okay, so it's a hashtag Monday lunch break. <laughs> and what you can do is if you want to see all of the Monday lunch break posts, videos, anything we've done, you can just click on that hashtag and it'll pull up all the videos and posts about a Monday lunch break. Um, we have several videos on there that you probably would want to see people from last week. Um, so click on the Monday lunch break hashtag. What you can do if you want to submit a video, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just upload your video to your own Facebook page, to your wall, and then tag webpianoteacher.com. 
and then we'll see it and give the hat, uh, Monday hat, Monday lunch break hashtag. Uh, and then, cause I'm checking that hashtag all the time to see what pops up. So <clears throat> post your video, tag webpianoteacher.com uh, and put in the description, hashtag Monday lunch break. You can also just send us the video directly if you are more comfortable with that. We've had people say, they're willing to send us the video, but they don't want to put it on their wall. <laughs> yeah, they'll want it for complete strangers to watch it. <laughs> yeah. But their friends they don't so, want to. So <laughs> uh, you can send it directly to us, uh, to our email address, the sales at webpianoteacher.com. Doesn't matter how you film the video, what format yeah. it's in, we can take care of that on our end. Mm -hmm. You just want to get us the video file. Yeah, even if you only play like bits and pieces of different songs, show us that, show us something. I need some, some beginner people if you guys can, <laughs> can send us some beginner stuff. So, okay. Yeah, great. Some good lessons coming up today. I'm going to be <laughs> posting those, so stay tuned. Lots of new lessons coming up. Hope you guys are enjoying your piano experience. See you next time. Bye.